What's up guys? So in this video, part 2 of what Halo needs, we are going to discuss weapons and vehicles that need without a doubt to return in Halo 6 or we will just die. And if you say that we are not going to die if we don't get these weapons and vehicles in Halo 6, then you are wrong. So yeah, we need these weapons and vehicles through 3 or we will die. So, yeah. But anyways, we are not only going to talk about weapons and vehicles we want to return, but new weapons and vehicles that should be added. So just watch until the end for some crazy ideas. And just in case you're thinking, oh they are only going to have us wait until the end to see crazy new weapons and ideas and concepts so they will end up watching the whole video, then yeah, you, you pretty much got it. So now let me stop with my horrible humor and play the intro. Welcome to Warzone, Spartan. Okay, welcome back. So the first weapon and one of the most requested weapons is the flamethrower. It is, however, one of the most requested weapons along with the needle rifle and a few others. The flamethrower appeared in Halo 3, so if you want to know more about it, I recommend you go play Halo 3. I mean, it burns people to death. Who doesn't want that? Also, the mauler is a highly requested weapon which is kind of like an up-close shotgun. Also, the needle rifle, which is, I have been requesting and wanting so bad, happens to be one of the most requested weapons to return in Halo 6. But besides the top requested weapons, let's now get into some other weapons that we want to return. Another weapon that would be just cool to have return is the focus rifle. It uses a beam of energy instead of a bullet, a lot like the binary rifle from Halo 5. Really, the only difference is the appearance. Also, which binary rifle do you like better, the one from Halo 4 or the one from Halo 5? Because I kind of like the binary rifle that did not shoot a stream of energy. And if it was the Halo 4 variant, it would make a lot more sense to bring back the focus rifle. Otherwise, it's just basically the same thing. And what I'm about to bring up is something that has just been requested of 343 since 343 took over Halo. And that is Brutes. If you guys have seen our previous videos, you already know how much we want Brutes. So let's talk about the awesome Brute Shot. It shoots explosive projectiles with a sharp blade attached to it. It just sounds cool saying that, so that definitely should return. And what about the Plasma Launcher? That thing is awesome. If you don't know what it is, it is the Covenant version of the Hydra. I'm not sure about you guys, but I miss the old Halo Reach Assault Rifle. I think it sounds great and looks a little bit more militaristic than our current Assault Rifle variant. But now let's get into vehicles. So the most requested vehicle that people want to return is the Falcon. It honestly might be my favorite vehicle. It is great for team play, and it would fit perfectly for any Halo game. Also, it would be awesome if they allowed the Falcon to carry four players instead of three. The Chopper, which is a brute vehicle, is also one of the most requested vehicles. Not the most, but one of the most. It's pretty cool, and it maneuvers very well, and it is just really fun to drive. Also, some people, very few, but some, wanted the Scorpion from Halo CE to return. I think it would be really cool. I'm not sure about the turret being able to be operated from the driver because it might be too overpowering, but maybe not. But one thing about this idea is its bullet impact effect. Like when you shoot that thing at the ground, the dust flies like 15 feet up in the air. It's just really cool. Okay, now for the ideas and concepts. So you know how your Spartan carries a knife? What if you could use it? I think they could find some way to implement it into the game without it ruining playstyle. But for it to work and not ruin playstyle, it should be an option that you can enable or disable, because there are some game types that I personally think should not have a knife. Another awesome idea is if we could use the Promethean Sword, or whatever it is called. It is a little bit too big for Spartans, but they could make a smaller variant. Because we already have a sword, the Promethean weapon could be like a two-hit kill, 
but it would be quicker and allow the player to move faster. Another idea that is not so much a weapon idea, but an additional feature. So if either gave us the ability to use the knife and use it for a drop attack or first person assassination, I think personally that that would be pretty cool. Alright, now let's talk about vehicles and their ideas and concepts that we came up with because we couldn't come up with too many weapon ideas and concepts. All Halo fans love vehicles, and therefore we are always asking 3 3 for more vehicles. But one of the most requested vehicles is a jet of some sort. Maybe something like the Prowler or the Oni Arcrucius, if that's how you pronounce it. Also, a lot of people want troop-carrying vehicles. So maybe we should be able to pilot the Condor. It has the ability to carry troops into battle, which I think is exactly what people want. Probably because of Forge. Forge now allows us to be more creative and allows us to make bigger maps, which would be perfect for transportation vehicles. Yes, 3 we ask a lot of you, but people are always going to ask for more. So here it goes. You see that tank right there? That is called the Grizzly. It is the UNSC's heaviest armored vehicle with a dual M310 120mm Sooth Bore Cannons. So wow, that thing is devastating. And it has a high rate of fire with a max speed of 43 miles per hour. So would that vehicle be overpowering? Yes. But they could nerf it to be a little bit more suitable for Halo's playstyle. But surprisingly enough, we do not have the craziest ideas out there. That's right, there are other people with some crazy ideas like this one like being able to pilot the Scarab and other gigantic vehicles. Incoming Promethean threat. Now that is probably never going to happen. I mean, that would really make Warzone Warzone. Imagine piloting the UNSC Infinity. You probably can't, because the UNSC Infinity alone is as big as a Warzone map. So it will probably never happen, but it's a crazy cool idea. Another idea is a game mode similar to Warzone, where there is a UNSC Cruiser and a Covenant Cruiser. One team is the human team, and the other being the Covenant. The humans have access to pelicans, and the Covenant team has access to phantoms. And the human team has human weapons, etc. Same goes for the Covenant, but you get the idea. But what about the Forerunners? They lack vehicles. So what if they made a Forerunner variant of the Warthog, and maybe a Forerunner tank? It would only add more diversity to the game. Okay, now we're going to get into some random stuff. I miss game loadouts where you can choose between weapons, but I do prefer the game without personal loadouts. But the pros of having game loadouts is being able to have each player have a different set of weapons for a more personal playstyle, and I do not mean this should be the case for every game mode either. Here is an idea for Forge. So we have almost everything in Forge, but we do not have wildlife or AIs. So what if we could place scripted wildlife in our Forge maps, or even AIs that fight? We could create a lot cooler maps, or even small warzone maps. I think it would just be pretty cool. Also, we have a crazy idea of an open world Halo game. So if you guys want us to make a video about that, then let us know in the comments below and we will. Also, be sure and give us some ideas and concepts for our next video. We may use your idea, and if you want, we can even show your comment. Just write suggestions so we can identify that you're writing a comment as a suggestion. And we will read every comment. Also, we have been receiving a lot of support from you guys, and it is awesome. And we are finally growing and making more progress. Obviously, we still have a ways to go, but for those of you who support us, thank you so much. So that's it for today. We hope you guys like this video, and be sure to tell us what you guys think in the comments below along with some of your ideas for upcoming videos or if you think we missed something. So anyways, see you guys next time. Peace.